Well, Mark, at the end of the day, the findings are still the same. These are the documents lawmakers have had for a while now, but they provide more evidence to the public that Shea's actions have been militant in nature. Matt Shea communicating with the public in nearly the only way he ever does via Facebook today. He attacked the House commissioned investigation, calling it a political hit job. The investigation was performed by the Rampart Group, an independent firm run mostly by ex-law enforcement. Shea posting, quote, Today the House finally released the exhibits of the Shampart dossier after withholding them from me and my attorney inexplicably for almost two months. Here it's worth noting investigators say they reached out multiple times to meet with Shea, but he refused. Shea's post continued, This list of exhibits raises more questions than answers. In fact, many of the exhibits are merely biased left-wing opinion pieces. In reality, of the more than 60 exhibits released today, only seven were articles of any kind. Of those, five are from right-wing sites. One is a short Inlander news article, and one is a spokesman article published under the paper's political blog. The vast majority of the exhibits are either emails written by Shea, screenshots of chats that included Shea, or documents authored by Shea and his associates. One of the most notable, this document, labeled a warning order, which in an email Shea described as a military-style planning brief. It's a detailed outline on how the Patriot Movement could negotiate a resolution to the Malheur standoff. One that exposes the federal land policy as tyrannical. Shea has claimed his presence in Oregon was purely for fact-finding. And a similar document for a standoff in Idaho, again, mostly focused on winning the political argument, but also clearly outlining preparations for a drawn-out, possibly armed conflict. As we mentioned earlier, Shea has been suspended from the Republican caucus, meaning he's essentially without a party in Olympia right now and has extremely limited power. He still has his seat, however. Then again, he'll face perhaps his toughest election yet this August, going up against not just a Democrat, but a fellow Republican with legislative experience. Mark.